Welcome to day three in our journey of our first 40 days as a Christian. Today, we're going to talk about a very important topic, growing roots. In Hebrews chapter 5, verse 11, the Bible reads, We have much to say about this, but it is hard to make it clear to you because you no longer try to understand. In fact, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Anyone who lives on milk, being still an infant, is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. Continuing on in chapter 6, verse 1. Therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings about Christ and be taken forward to maturity, not laying again the foundation of repentance from acts that lead to death and of faith in God. Instruction about cleansing rites, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. And God permitting, we will do so. Book of Hebrews was written to Christians who were about 30 odd years into their faith. So they weren't young Christians. They were old Christians. But as we read from these verses, even though they were older in the faith, they were not maturing in the faith. So growing roots is a really important aspect of growing as a Christian. Going back to Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1, when the Bible says, therefore, let us move beyond the elementary teachings, what it's not saying is forget the basics, but instead to retain the elementary or first principles teachings about Christ, the starting point, if you will, the origin, and be taken forward. Imagine a ship that is moving towards completeness or wholeness or maturity. And that's the picture of the Christian life. Now think about boxing, for example, and learning how to punch. Think about the basics of boxing, the basics of footwork. And this could be true for anything, whether it be academics, where you start with the basics and you're building on these basic fundamentals. But obviously, you want to not just stay at the basic level. You retain the basic fundamentals and you mature. And going back to boxing, that would be taking the basic fundamentals and you're maturing as a boxer. For example, you can now do some combination punches. Now you can maybe do some sparring. And that's the same for our Christian life. We are growing, we're maturing, we're building on the fundamentals and we are moving towards maturity. So let's talk about who is responsible for our maturing. So we have our individual role. We certainly also have the church or the collective that plays a role. And in combination of the two and the Holy Spirit, it's all three in one. We're working together. We're building partnerships or alliances. So let's talk about our individual role. One size doesn't fit all. And hopefully that makes sense to you. We all are unique. We all come from unique backgrounds, unique uh, experiences, unique um, opportunities, capacities. This also includes how one learns. Each one learns differently. And so to know yourself and know how um, you're wired, how God made you, and how you learn. And then what are some basics that we ought to know? Well, here's a few that I've listed. One is to read or hear God's word. It's to learn how to interpret our Bibles correctly. And it's to discern true from false teachings. Now, there's probably more that you can list out as basics. These are just a few that I think are really important. So to read or hear God's word. And I mentioned here because, again, it's individual. And so it's customized. So, for example, I know someone who can't read their Bible. And so they listen to an audio Bible or they have someone read the Bible to them. The reason they can't read is because of medical uh, condition. So that's an example. So it's not like everybody's got to do it the same way. As long as we are achieving the target. And what's the target? To hear or read God's word. And so as a young Christian, to go through the Bible, however you want to do it, 
uh, but you read through the Bible from Genesis to Revelation in a systematic way to learn how to interpret the Bible correctly. As I mentioned earlier, how to punch in boxing properly uh, is actually really important. It's the same thing. How do we interpret the Bible correctly? And then to discern true teaching, truth from false teaching. And you're learning how to do that. And then there's the role of the church, the commitment to biblical training. For example, offering resources, providing resources, providing or, and organizing training sessions. And as you can tell, this is a partnership. Growing Roots is a partnership. Hopefully this video has been helpful in your journey in growing roots. And hopefully in 30 years time, we're not the ones being described as Hebrews chapter 5 is describing the church then. That we are actually retaining the fundamental teaching and we are actually moving on to maturity. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. God bless you.